Hey everybody, it's Noon here, back with another video, continuing our campaign as the Palatinate. Before we get started, I have to apologize, I somehow messed up the recording and recorded the audio with my webcam mic instead of my mic mic. Uh, it's a little bit crunchy, uh, but it should just, you should be able to understand me the whole way anyway. Sorry about that, it should all be fixed by the next time, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Crunch crunch. What up gamers, it's Noon here, back with a, another installment on this campaign as the Palatinate. Thank you all so much for leaving the likes on my last video. I'm gonna <laughs> ask for more for the next one. Uh, apparently five is not that much, but um, I am excited to get back into this campaign. And so for this episode, uh, I'm gonna focus on trying to uh, finish the mission where we connect our lands up, just because it's like fun and strategically important. And then we're going to start going seriously after the Empire. So, let's get started. Okie dokie, so... We're just going to send our troops back to try and deal with this Mainzian Separatists. Black Flag, that's fine. Uh, oh, we need a new rival. So who's rivaled us? Strasbourg, Provence, Munich, and Frankfurt. We'll rival Frankfurt, that's fine. And we'll switch off our forts. We've got two again. I might end up deleting this one again, but it's woods, so it's a way better place to have a fort. Uh, we've actually got quite a lot of coalition against us, so uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do any wars for a while, which is fine, because um, our plan is just to chill and become emperor. So let's disband the free company for now. If we do another war against Würzburg, that's great, but I might not even do a whole... Uh, I might not even do a war in this episode. We're just going to be scheming. Now, I'm making some money, which is nice. Let's get the Diplo rep guy. We've also got this mission fulfilled, which is high income, which lets us build faster, but I don't think we have enough money in the bank for that to be worth it. 6.9 years, nice. Tell you what, can we reduce autonomy here? We cannot. So let's state it up. We'll core it again. We're probably a bit short on admin tech, but that's fine. And now let's, can we reduce the autonomy? Yeah, there we go. And that's gonna massively increase the unrest. And now it's gonna be 1.5 years, which is great. Um, it might seem weird to say that it's good to uh, uh, provoke the rebels, but it means you get rid of them faster, and if you can beat them in a battle, then it's all good. All right, cool. So we eclipsed some rivals, which is nice, because it increases our power projection quite significantly. So we're getting plus one of each power there. Uh, who else would we like to rival? Let's say Hesse. Hesse's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, as I say, I'm probably not going to go to war with anyone. They don't have an army, which is funny. It means we might eclipse them uh, again, which is fun. Let's also issue an embargo to them. We're still earning a profit, so I reckon let's get... We have the manpower mod guy. That sounds good to me. Can't do anything with our estates just at the moment. Ooh, here we go. Let's summon the diet. Because everyone's got fairly low influence, so that's fine. A church in Heidelberg, invest in Zweibrochen. Um, you could do that. Or production in Zweibrochen. I'd probably prefer to do production because Diplo power is not our most important thing. And because it's cloth, which means that it'll be quite a valuable investment. And we just get a little bit of cash for it. Uh, we are earning a lot of mill power though, so this will just be easier. But the burgers are the ones we need to please the most. Let's do that. It's my little thing. And I think we need to spend a military power here anyway, which is kind of annoying. If I'd thought about that more, I might not have done it. But I think it's still fine. Okay, Austria has embraced Renaissance, which is great. Uh, it means that it's going to start spreading much faster through everywhere. 
And although we're probably going to be one of the last people in the HRE, oh, let's see, slide as well, yeah. Um, one of the last people in the HRE to actually get it embraced, uh, I think it'll be worth it to not spend all of that uh, tech, sorry, all of that uh, power just at the moment. Let's take the prestige hit. We're already low on prestige. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh, actually, let's switch over our guy to a better guy. Nice, the production efficiency is really tasty. Um, instead of whatever silly thing we had. Okay, so in terms of electors, branded bugs quite close. Can we do anything to make them like us more? We've already improved relations as much as we can. They view us with distrust. So how about we spend our favors, ask for trust. And then we can send a diplomat back to curry favors. And we're also allied with Cologne. We've nearly maxed our improved relations there. They trust us somewhat. So let's get someone currying favors here as well. And then everyone else is pretty far away from us. Saxony's the next closest. So I reckon we're going to ally them and royal marry them. And we'll be taking a hit to our diplo income for a little while. But we'll break our alliance with Württemberg, I reckon. Uh, we'll wait until the royal ties uh, end naturally. Um... Hmm, I think I'm going to revoke this privilege for now. Sorry about that grinding noise. This is Bagel very noisily chewing a bone right into the microphone. Why don't you do that over there, hey? Go on. Good boy. Okay, so he's just brought it right back again. Yeah, very clever dog. I'm just thinking 44 spread over eight years or whatever. Is it worth having that income? I think not. So let's take the, let's take it again. Oh, it's worth 0.5 ducats a month. I guess that is quite a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, and Austria wants ducats for favors. Uh, how are they? They trust us fine. All right. That's, that's all right. We'll pay it to them. It's worth having them like us a bunch. We have a lot of favors, so why don't we ask them for soldiers as well, just while we're here. And then Saxony, let's marry them. And then we'll send someone to schmooze as well. And we were going to curry with Brandenburg, that's right. Oh, they're rivals with Saxony, that's probably why I wasn't doing that. That's really annoying. Oh well, good job, Noon. We'll be right. Oh, that's a lot of things. Okay, truce is ended, that's fine. Uh, okay, that's sort of unfortunate that Castile got the Iberian wedding, though it's hardly surprising. It doesn't really matter for us, or it's unlikely to, but it's not ideal. Let's get a couple more troops while we're at peace here. Ah, uh, though we are short on money, aren't we? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, we won that battle with Mainz, that's great. And I'm actually gonna just collapse those, that's fine. So we've lost a, a troop total, but that's right. So now I'm going to go send them to Nassau, where they will drill. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have given them that uh, Monopoly again, which is annoying. Next time it comes up, I won't. I can get that Diplo Tech, thank you. It's quite nice. Doesn't really help us that much, but it's alright. We should actually have a look at our trade situation while we're not doing a whole bunch, so... We've got someone collecting in Rhineland, which is probably not the best thing that we could be doing. We've got someone transferring here, which is right. And then I think we want someone here transferring as well. So we'll take the one out of Rhineland. Because you automatically connect, collect in your home node. Um, but here we significantly increase our trade power. And I should have kept an eye on this while it was going on. Uh, meanwhile... They've called the thing. Okay, Burgundy's opinion doesn't help at all. It just gives us loyalty because it's easy, I guess. Uh, we could put more production into Zweibrochen. And that is going to increase the value of that burger loan, uh, monopoly once we get rid of it. The base tax for church is quite nice. That might be a minute before we can fulfill it. That's all right. We, we don't need to fulfill it urgently. Okay. Get 13 ducats or some prestige. 
Yeah, I think we'll just take the prestige. Which will also help our income directly. I think I might also fire our military guy just for the moment, because I'd rather be making a profit. Oh yeah, can we reduce autonomy? Here we can. So reducing autonomy is a great way to increase your income. It means you have to fight rebels a bit. Okay, that was the only one that we could do. That's fair enough. Nice, we get extra prestige. That's lovely. There we go. Now we're making a bit of money. We could consider developing up. Oh no, losing a stability. It's pretty irritating. It's not the end of the world though. I would really like to see a mod where comets are like geographically located so that like everyone who has a capital inside like a latitude band or I don't know, I don't know how comets work, but something along those lines um, all get that at the same moment. And I think that would be cool because it would like cause a, a, a like widespread discontent in the same way that like a social issue kind of would or the way that collapse historically has kind of been geographical rather than like cultural. I mean, that's not entirely true, uh, a broad generalization that I'm sure many critiques are possible of, but I think that's like roughly correct. All right, so we could try to develop up, up a Schaffensberg. Annoyingly, it's one of the ones that has no renaissance at all. Mainz is also a possibility, and it has a bit. So I think that might be the go. So let's put uh, an edict on Hess to encourage development. I will actually wait until I've got this tech, and then I'll spend Diplo and military on it. Uh, okay. Can't actually do anything with people and Well, I can spend it on this stuff, which is pretty good. But I'm not really playing the Pope game, and I like Catholicism getting reformed desire. I do... Uh, do I? Because I'm planning on staying Catholic at the moment... There's this mission that sort of makes us choose, basically, either convert to Protestant early on or, like, lead the Catholics in Europe, basically. So I'm not entirely sure yet which one I would like to go for. If I go Protestant, I can't be Emperor for a while. Um, but I think I'll take the cash here anyway. And I might take high income now that I've got a little bit of money here so I can build this church here in Heidelberg. Take that mill tech, thank you. And now we're going to deb up mines. Okay, nice. We eclipsed Hess. That's really nice. Yeah, we need admin power. It's only going to be a, a small amount, but it'll help a bit. Okay, so let's unembargo Hess. And then we can rival up. Uh, I mean, Provence has just been excommunicated. Who are they allied with? Not with France. That's the important thing. And they've got a reconquest against France. Okay, cool. So they seem like a safe person to rival. Sounds good. Now we're going here. Brandenburg. Still not big fans. And we can't ask them for... Oh, we can ask them for trust. Let's do that. Okay, is Rebel Uprising ready? So let's stop drilling. How is our coalition situation going? Okay, it looks like it's uh, still minus 30 thereabouts. I should probably be improving with people who are mad at us rather than just getting favors here. So let's do that. Take that 50 debt blue power, thank you. Uh, 40 mil power and a cheaper skill 2 guy for 22 ducats. I, I'm just happy to pay that for the mill power and the fact that we have a cheap guy is like neither here nor there. I don't really care about fort engineers. Still losing money. Oh, and let's keep devving up mines. Now, I think we can use everything except admin power, right? Yeah, okay, good. Oops. So maybe I shouldn't have bothered doing that just right now when this is suddenly kicking off. So it's going to be in 77 instead of whenever it was. This will be 91. It's okay. I mean, upgrading mines is still a nice thing to do. 
so close to getting our ideas going, which is nice. I'm not even sure what I want to take first. Probably like influence or something. I'm not really sure what the idea meta is here. Like humanist or religious will be good because uh, we're going to need that whenever the religious shit happens, the, the, the league wars and so on. Um... Influence might be useful. Diplomatic, maybe? Improve relations, diplo rep, war score cost, tech cost, lowered impact from unstabbed from diplo actions. I think that means we can basically, like, cancel our marriages without taking a stability hit. We could just take quantity or, like, defensive even. I mean, quantity seems sensible. It's a good, like, fallback position. Aristocratic might be fun, but I don't know if it's that good, really. We don't have to decide just at the moment. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty silly about doing this with mines. And let's switch this over to institution spread. It's all right. No sunk fallacy cost. Oh, sunk cost fallacy, I mean. Knowledge sharing. I don't think we're going to be able to afford it. Yeah. 0.8 ducats. I'm just going to say no. We're going to get it soon enough anyway. When's this due now? 76. Yeah. Silly, silly. Spending that on mines, but that's all right. Uh, and let's turn off the edicts now. Uh, actually, no. Let's turn on advancement effort. Because it costs money to have it on. Okay. Royal Major with Wurttemberg has ended. Perfect. Now let's unally them with no stab cost. And say no to that. And now we're not losing diplo points anymore. Which is great. That's a nice little diplomatic maneuver. Oh, nice. And now we're in line to be elected next. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's improve relations with these guys. Uh, Austria, you're no longer our number one priority. Saxony. Yeah, 82. These guys. 70. Let's roll. Hell yeah, I'm feeling good about that. And uh, I think I'm actually just going to turn my army way down. Okay. Reformers have put forward a new confession of faith that has some minor but still serious differences with Catholic teachings. Wait, has the Reformation popped? It has not. Okay. Um, the church claims it borders on the heretical, while th there are those who suggest it would bring the church and its administrative apparatus under tighter control. So we can promote it for reform... Ah, the reform desire anyway, but we'll take the admin power. Hell yeah. Get fucked, Pope. So, I reckon let's take the high income mission. And then we're going to build a building. Just going to check it's the right one. Here, Heidelberg. And we're going to build a church, which we can't quite afford. Next month we can. Hooray. That was a church, right? Yep. Okay. Brandenburg opinion maxed. Uh, we'll wait until that gets built and then we'll be able to seize land without pissing off the clergy. I'm still not entirely sure about what I idea set to pick. We've only got one vassal. I think I will take quantity. It's a bit boring, but it's the common play for a reason. I think in the upcoming patch, uh, we're likely to get it nerfed. I haven't been keeping fully up with the uh, dev diaries, but I saw someone posting about that recently. Okay, Saxony is no longer voting for us. Saxony, bruh. What's going on? Come, talk to me. Trust us somewhat. Can you trust us more? Nice. Clergy is pleased. Oh, that's so annoying. We're so close to getting our government reform. How close are we? Seven. Uh, it's ten months. Okay, that sucks. I was going to say, if it's like two months, I might try and just let the uh, event play out, but whatever. All right, so let's seize land. Now that the clergy are happy with us. Ooh, look at that. Plus 5% tax modifier. Dollar, dollar bill. Uh, is that dollar, dollar bill enough to... Get another advisor? I'm not sure that it is, quite frankly. Ooh, Portugal found El Dorado already. 1474, yeesh. Get 
Levy on mass. We are plus a hundred here. Partly because of ahead of time. Let's take it. Oh, and we get innovativeness for it. Holy crap. That means that we're like one of the first people in the world to get quantity ideas. That can't be right. That's ridiculous. 15 prestige, half price advisor, or 25 ducats. Let's take the cash, whatever. Okay, this time, well, this time we're actually making a bunch of money already, so I think actually taking the loan again is good. Ah, well, I thought about it, at least. <laughs> and yeah, now I can build some more buildings with my building buildings. I mean, my building mission. I should also total. oh no. Now, as malevolent, jeez. Been having bad luck with our traits. Okay, Austria and us are... Wait, what? They elected... Oh! Damn it. They re-elected Austria. Sorry, I clicked through that really quick. Maybe I can go back and get a screenshot in post-production, in the edit, but... Ah, that, that sucks a bunch. Still, if they die again... They're, they're very unpopular now, so a bunch of people are voting for us. Oh, Austria is not eligible. Why not? It's curious. Uh, I think we will just ally, uh, royal marry them again. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Nice. Okay, Zweibrochen has uh, gotten Renaissance. That's great. Everyone's got the Renaissance but us, because noon silly. Didn't plan it very well. Okay, these guys are idle. That means no one's outraged with us. Which means that we could go to war. I could ally Augsburg as well. Just get, like, everyone locked in. Lose the Diplo power for it. It's probably worth it. And then how much is it going to cost to embrace? Oh, only 87. Okay, that, that's quite good. It's way less than I thought. Do I want to summon the diet again? No one's got too much influence. Let's do one more. Clergy wants stab three. That's a big commitment. That, uh, that's also a big commitment. So let's take faults. That's fine. Nice. Now we've got the money to embrace when... Oh, we can just do that now. All right, great. Let's do it. We were just in need of money there. That was silly. I could have done that earlier. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. I am happy with this. And I think we're earning enough here that I'd rather take the... Ooh, the military power. And I'm actually going to turn off the focus here. That's a pretty big decision. Uh, and I would encourage you to think about it a lot more than how much you just heard me think about it then. But I've been thinking about it for a while. I should have said something before now. But yeah. Um, uh, I've been planning to do that for ages. Because getting 10 of something is great, but it's not worth getting 5 or 4 of the other. So, who should we be chatting to right now? Back to Austria again. I wonder what made them eligible for re-election. Maybe it was not having an heir or something? I don't know. Uh, we're still in line to be elected, right? We've got four electors supporting us. Oh, let's offer knowledge sharing to them as well. That's nice income, plus they will like us. Okay, we can get a government reform. So, tier 3, we can get... Max promoted cultures or the autonomy change. I'm definitely going to take autonomy change. It's nice getting that for free rather than having to do it the like rude way of like the minus autonomy. Oh, and now that that's done, I'm going to turn off my edicts because I don't want to be spending money on them. Ooh, get a tech. Oh, it's an idea. Do we want to take it? The only th reason that we might not is to get the mill power. And yeah, we're only minus... Uh, sorry, we're only plus five here, so I think I will. Uh, sorry, nobility, I'm not going to spend a base tax for you. Uh, it would be a real shame to not get the innovativeness, though, while we're ahead. Okay. Um, let uh, Saxony's finished getting uh, Renaissance, so let's see if anyone else will take it. Brandenburg will... Right. Uh, 
yep, we'll give them the cash again. Just hopefully they'll like us. Wait, we're now allied to these guys, aren't we? Yes. Ooh, and they'll transfer trade power to us. Hell yeah. Oh, I should totally do that as well. This is really nice. Once you get a little bit bigger, this is a really fun thing to do, is to make people steer trade to you. It's just so nice. And, and transfer trade power. It's just like... People are just, like, excited to give you cash. Okay, build a great palace. Uh, we'll definitely take that. The prestige and legitimacy. We've actually got fairly low legitimacy, so that's really nice to get that boost. I mean, 77 isn't, like, a terrible amount, but it's not, not where you're looking to be. Uh, half price production efficiency guy. I think let's take that. With the 15 prestige. Uh, we do actually kind of need the money, though. So we'll save money by hiring him. So let's do that. Now uh, that we can't actually afford to hire him this month. That's fine. Back off. Please. I'm trying to record a video. You're a very cute boy, though. Cute and noisy boy. Okay, we can get the admin tech... We're still behind in Edmund Tech. That's kind of annoying. Okay, Bohemia is our rival. Uh, let's take the Tech's mod and missionary strength. That's just, like, free, so that's really nice. Oh, we're actually pretty close to forming Westphalia. So we're still in line here. Get the mill tech, thank you. That's very nice. Okay, great. And we just eclipsed... Our rivals, that's lovely. So let's stop embargoing them. Who's next on our list? It's Bohemia or Nuremberg. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Bohemia's rivaled us. Who are they rivaled and allied with? They're rivals to Hungary, Venice, and us. Hmm, that's kind of a big decision. I think I'm just going to do Nuremberg to be safe. And we have zero coalition, so it would be good to expand again right about now. Würzburg is allied with Frankfurt, Rottenburg, and Goslar, who we could easily defeat in a war, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, we're just even with them already, if we call, like, uh, all of our allies. It's going to be crushing. So I think I'll do that, uh, but I might wait a year or two just to stack some cash, and on that note, I'm not going to do that for Cologne. Okay, let's take the... Ooh... Let's take a E reduction because that's going to be that's really useful in the Holy Roman Empire. What does France think about us? Not much. Oh, they would royal marry us, huh? Augsburg's not even voting for us. Let's dissolve the shit out of that alliance. Get f flipped out of here, Augsburg. I'm marrying France. Hell yeah. Oh, they're rivals with Austria. I'm very silly. Still. Oh, I died. Okay, good. Oh, that's uh, that's fine. Ah, yes, we'll marry you, Saxony. Let's ask for ducats from Austria. Thanks. That will basically fund our entire next war. Thank you. Ludeberg is our vassal up here. Let's royal marry them. Oh, they don't like us that much. Okay, Friedrich the Bad. Uh, I'm gonna disinherit him immediately. Just take the prestige hit, it's fine. Our only possible rivals, Bohemia. It's quite annoying. An offer to trade favors for getting an heir of their dynasty from Austria. Uh... <laughs> nah. Skill to half price guy, or 50 diplo power off the bat. Let's take that. Tech up. Lovely. Our force limit's 15, so let's get... Oh, we've got cannons now. Great. This whole France thing is probably a bit silly. Oh, we immediately lost it. Right, okay. Good. That's fine. Nice! I'm so glad I disinherited. Um... Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, the one military isn't great, but that you, you, we can compensate for that completely fine. Okay, so I think it's time 
We are losing just a little bit of money. We're going to activate our forts. And then I think we're going to declare on Würzburg. So, Kloon and Saxony will both come in, which is nice. We're just like miles bigger than them. Tasty, tasty stuff. All right, let's do it. Oh, they're all right there, Lamau. That's, I didn't realize that it was like right there. So let's go and mess up their biggest army in that case. Beautiful, that's what you like to see. Let's see if we can catch these guys here. Ooh, and now Brandenburg will come in. So one of the reasons I'm calling them in is that uh, it improves their relation to be in a war with you, uh, which is nice. They like you. Ooh, I also forgot. I need to set my provinces of interest. And a war ally has already got it. Okay, so we need to claim this one ourselves. You come here. Yeah, there we go. National unrest minus two for ducats and admin power. Nah, sorry, we can't. I should stab up though, I think. Do we have a stab cost guy? We do not. You get rid of the Diplo rep guy as well, just for the moment. Save cash during wartime. Let's boost our stability. Okay, one Wurzburg. Great. Okay, Frankfurt wants to peace out. Fair enough. <laughs> we could, like, absolutely blow the whole plan um, and uh, just take as much as possible uh like take their land but nah i don't want the aggressive expansion so we can get prestige by making them and their rivalries that's nice that's all we can get great uh yeah i'll just take the prestige and loyalty and influence here i think Cash is nice, we don't need it that badly, and it would be nice to be able to spend uh, one lot of poke points uh, before we convert, if that's what we decide to go with. What's going on with the Ottomans? Um, no, they're beating up the Mamluks, otherwise not that much going on. Hungary, chunky Hungary. And they're rivaled with Austria, interesting. Are they in the HRE? They're not. Interesting, that's pretty cool. That's sort of good for us in terms of containing Austria's power. Uh, and we could give Goslar to Saxony. Let's do that. Because um, then Saxony will like us a whole bunch. Uh, we don't have to cop the AE for it. So that's 22 AE. That's 28 AE. Let's do that. Lovely. Now we've got the Road to Amberg mission. Uh, ooh, and that gives us a restoration of Union CB on Munich, Landshut, and Ingolstadt, which is quite nice. Let's keep improving relations with our allies, who are probably a bit mad about us expanding. But just a little bit mad, not very mad. Uh, yeah, we should uh, core all of these as well, but can we... Concentrate, we cannot, can't do that day here either. We can core all those. Just core it all, it's fine. And now Brandenburg wants ducats, and Saxony wants ducats. Um, I kind of feel like I have to say yes so that they keep liking me, because they'll be pissed if, if I say no. What's... Lunenburg's missions, nothing very exciting. I've got some like semi-unique ones here in terms of expanding, but can we get, get a new idea? We're plus 80% on the tech, so let's do it. And we still even get the innovativeness, which is nice. It really means that we're like pretty ahead in the uh, idea game. Turn off all of our forts again. I might even defeat the Würzburg one again, because it's grasslands. It's kind of in the middle of our land, so it's not like doing anything really. It's just costing us money. Oh, it's got a cathedral. That's nice. Yeah, I reckon let's do it. 
Let's trade efficiency. Is that going to give us much money? 10% of 36 is 0.36. It'll pay for like a third of himself. Eh. I just prefer the Diplo rep. So that can immediately make everyone like us more. Yeah, it does. So now it'd just be really nice if uh, the Austrians could just pop their clogs one more time. For old Noonzy. Uh, I'm just going to reduce all of this autonomy. Okay, so we've got this monopoly again. Still, we're making like quite a lot of money, so I'm just going to take the cash and the mercantilism. One thing I might save up for is to upgrade our centers of trade. So, we've currently only got mites, is that right? Yeah, I thought we had another one. Maybe not. It's going to cost us 200, yeah. But, like, ideally, we actually want to move our trading capital, like, before the end of the mid-game. Like, if we form the HRE or Germany or something, um, we'll probably move up to the North Sea here, something like that. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not expanding, like, super frantically. There's more of a, like, let's play where you see my actual style of, like, fairly measured expansion. Rather than some of the pros... You know, the uh, A to Z series that Red Hawk's been doing of, like, you know, some s ridiculous stuff of, like, starting as uh, Rugen and then, you know, coming down and forming Italy. Or, and it wasn't exactly that, but, you know, something along those lines. It's very impressive. Let's state these boys up. It's not a huge increase in income, but it's fine. And then we can just use the autonomy here. So the reason I'm not taking this yet is that I'm worried that the restoration of Union CB is not permanent, and I don't want to do it right now, I don't think. I think I want to wait until I'm Emperor. <laughs> Again, that's my goal for this session, become Emperor. Holds this guy, Ferdinand, he is 38, all right. Okay, so we can schmooze the Pope and then we'll get Papal Influence, which is quite a nice deal, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we can make us go to war for Cheb. Like, honestly, if we... Ooh, they're defending against Poland. Okay, this might actually be the perfect time to do that. There might be no better time than now. To declare on Bohemia and mess them up real nice. Or we can build a marketplace in Zweibrücken. That's definitely the calm option. I think I'm going to go ham. Wait, no. Let's let's check how feasible it is. Okay, so they're allied to the Teutonic Order, Brunswick, Munich, and Rottenburg. So, if we declared... Well, Austria's not actually going to come in, because we'll have a claim. Uh, so, we'll have 30k. Austria actually has 47,000 troops, so... It's going to be more like, yeah, 27 and a bit. So now if we declare Austria doesn't give a shit. So it's close to evenly balanced. But I might have to hire the free company as well. Okay, wait a sec. Brandenburg is conquering Ansbach. It's down here. How is Brandenburg conquering them? What? Who are they allied with? No one. Uh, alright. Sure. Help out with your silly war. It's fine. I think we might even be able to separate piece out and take this. Um, I don't understand what's happening here. It's really weird. It's really weird. Okay, and got it. Oh, and they gave it to us. That's hilarious. That's so funny because we conquered it. They couldn't do anything about it. That's so good. That worked exactly how I wanted it to. I feel almost mean. That's so good. Alright. Are they still at war? Yeah, they're plus zero. 
Wait, so Poland's right, conquering Marienburg. I see. I reckon let's get the free company, and then we're equal to them in sheer troop numbers. Okay, well, that guy sucks a lot. Let's roll one more. Okay, that guy rocks hard. That's what I like to see. Those three siege pips. Hell to the... Yeah. I should have done that before, and then I kind of messed up with the army professionalism, but it's not super important. All right, let's declare this war. They do have more horses than us. That is true. Which could potentially be... A small issue. Okay. No longer married to Saxony. Let's marry him up. Real good. Piss off Brandenburg, I think. Yeah. These things happen. Ten dollars. It's gonna be so good once these eight guys step on. Uh, it's because uh, of the general. It's gonna be beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll pay for this. The 40 ducats for two, um, two dev is really nice. Nice. Look at that. It was like 30% change or something. Just melting the walls of Prague. Okay, Castile is the Pope. These things happen. Take out Diplotech, sure. Nice, we got Prague. That's rockin'. Ooh, do they have a gold mine? Yes, and it's Cheb. Okay, hell yes. That's going to be really nice. Okay, so <laughs> Poland does have claims all along there, so I might not... Uh, ooh, nice manpower. That's tasty. Uh, I might not end up um, taking much of that. Okay, well, that was a pretty easy war, which, you know, let this be a lesson to you. Um, sometimes hard wars are easier than they look. I mean, hard wars are easier than they look? You know what I mean. We literally might not have actually needed the free company in the slightest. Admin tech, thank you. Maybe shouldn't have done that right before we're piecing out here, but whatever. But another idea group. We haven't even gotten started on our first one. Now, this is a woods, and we will be crossing a river. Let's ask Lipper if we can uh, just pop in there for a moment. That way we lose the river crossing. And we still might get wrecked because they have like a god tier general, but I think the numbers are overwhelming enough. Yeah. I mean, they fought bravely and lost badly. Nice. Brunschweigen. Okay, now Lippa wants to marry us. Bro, we, we just asked for military access one time. Don't make a big. make this uncomfortable. Wow. It's a pretty significant whooping. This is occupied by Lunenburg. I'm also going to... Uh, I'm really tempted to just spend it on the ideas and take the innovative nurse, get the Diplo rep. Land maintenance mod's really nice. Does mean that we're not going to get Tech 8 very soon, but, like, we're not anyway. It's already been reached. We don't catch up by spending it on ideas. No, I think we can't do it just now. Let's uh, give Lunenburg all of these provinces. So Hanover, give that to Lunenburg. Braunschweigen, give that to Lunenburg. Gortingen, give that to Lunenburg. And now let's sue them out for pieces. A coalition will form against us. Okay, us personally, it's a bit rude. Still, won't that just it's so annoying? That gives us so much war score. Just one province, really. Maybe we shouldn't. Nah, splitting them in half like that's fun. Let's do it. So, who else is in this war? Munich. Well, we can make them release 
Passau. That would be fun. Make them out vassal. But I think I just want the money. Like, Cheb's the only really important one here. Um, what else is going on in this region? I mean, that glass would be quite nice. Or just to take Prague. Like, something like that. And 500 Glod. It's a pretty big... It's a pretty big coalition. 1 in 60. Yeah. It's 1 in 27. Uh, 2 in 27. That's, that's much more like it. Make them release Lusitatia. That sounds good to me. Give me the war reps. Your 500 gold. Ending your alliance with Munich. Actually, that would be nice. Great. Okay, that looks like a good piece to me. Declare statute in repa uh, restraint of appeals. Basically, this is like, the Pope sucks. Um... And I don't think I want it right now because we're trying to do this Diplo business and that just only just still like us. It's amazing. Let's improve relations. Ooh, okay, Salzburg <laughs> has joined a coalition. We're just going to set both of our dudes on outraged countries. Okay, that is alarming, but we will be okay. Wow, this is a big military coalition. Can we get an improved relations, guys? Five a month. Can't afford that. Let's get rid of production efficiency, man. Oh, boy. I'm a little worried about this coalition. Please, please, please give us not that. Let's take this guy just for a minute. Fire the Diplo rep guy. We really need improved relations. Look at this coalition. It's just going to keep getting bigger as well. Ugh, it's not what I wanted. Send this guy out for outrage countries as well. I'm just keeping the free company because um, I would prefer not to get wrecked by not having enough troops. Maybe I should just not hire this guy. That was probably a silly waste of money. All right, I think I do actually want to take this now that it's on the edge of innovativeness gain. Because I, I really want to be on the head of that. Like, any innovativeness that we can get is fabulous. Oh, that's a nice extra one, actually. Because it reduces all power costs by point however much it is, which is just, like, ridiculously good. It's hard to express how good that is. Okay... Stop giving me Diplo rep. Give me improved relations. I'm not sure if you can have two of the same guy. This is another castle we can destroy, I think. I think having two castles in this kind of spacing is about right. I'm still making a bit of money, which is nice. Spy network construction is absolute garbage. No, I can't afford that now. They just really want me to have this Diplo relations guy. Just doesn't do what you want it to do, you know? Oh shit, now these guys aren't voting for us. Ooh, they're minus 10. Fine, we'll hide the Diplo rep guy. Can we, um. We have religious diplomats. Let's seize. Do we want to summon as well? Maybe not. Clergy are getting a little powerful. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Okay. Yes! There we go, we got it. We're elected as emperor. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That's really nice. Okay, so I'll probably finish up this uh, video there, and then next session uh, we can celebrate the joy of being emperor and uh, look at some of getting through some of these uh, centralization reforms and, and whatnot. Um, that's very exciting. One of the cool things about EU4, in my opinion, is that you can, um, you know, do one little, like, diplomatic maneuver in a session. I think that's quite fun. Like, you know, we did end up actually fighting some wars as well, and, like, a bit more than we were uh, originally planning. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think that's always a cool little thing. You'd sit down and be like, I'm just going to play for, like, two hours, and I'm going to become the Emperor. And uh, then you do it, and it's fun. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, that is the uh, the next step of the Palatinate 
Uh, ooh, we've got Charlemagne's Legacy. Ooh, hell yeah. 15 years of plus three Diplo rep. That's pretty tasty. Ooh, and religious leadership. We can just take that now? Dope. Well, we'll almost certainly take that straight away, and then we can become Protestant, I think. Um, which still... Uh, has it popped? No, they're just... Uh, zealots. Okay. That's funny. All right, cool. That's it for me for today. Thank you all for watching. If I get... 15 more likes uh, and a couple of comments i'll absolutely continue this campaign now i'm having fun i'll continue it anyway but uh you know it's really nice getting likes and comments uh it, it makes it feel like it's worthwhile doing this so uh yeah that, that would be lovely if you feel like doing that and uh otherwise until next time uh crunch crunch